today we are interviewing Mary Lucy Darby Taylor. Today's date is September 6th, 2022. The interview in which you are about to participate is part of the Wood County Historical Commission's project to record the history of the common schools of Wood County, Texas. The content of this interview will focus on your experience at Webster. What is your full name? Mary Lucy Darby Taylor. What year were you born? 1931. What are your parents' names? Gladys and Virgil Talley. They were my second parents. My mother died when I was two years old. What was your father's occupation? Farmer. In what schools did you attend in Wood County? Well, uh, Webster, and then I, we transferred into Winsboro. And I went uh, sixth grade through graduation in Winsboro. What was the highest grade taught at Webster? A. How old were you when you started school? Six. And how did you get to school each day? I walked. I lived just a short distance from school. Did you walk down a path or a road or through a pasture? A road. And what was that road like? Was it paved or was it no, gravel? No, it was sandy. Sand. Did you have siblings that walked with you? No. Did you have friends that walked with you? No. Where was your school located? Uh, was it on a county road? Yes. And how did you get to school if it were raining? Well, uh, Mama wrapped me up and gave me an umbrella. <laughs> we were very lenient. If it was bad weather, we just didn't go to school. <laughs> did anybody ride a horse to school? No. Did the school have a lunch room? Did the school have an auditorium? Yes. Was there ever a tornado or bad weather at school? Not that I remember. Did the school ever catch on fire? No. About what time in the morning did school start? At 8 o'clock. And about what time would it end? Oh, about 3, 3.30. Did you ever have to miss school to work at home? No. Do you remember any of your teachers? Yes. And what were their names? Well, first grade was Ola Black. She was a wonderful teacher. And then after that, it was Lala Bean. <laughs> Sensing, S-E-N-S-I-N-G. And then uh, fifth grade it was her husband, Bill Sensing. Did you ever pull any tricks on your teachers? What were some of the supplies that you had to bring to school? Well, we had a big cheap tablet and a pencil, and maybe, uh, and it was that big pencil. After we got up, maybe third grade or so, we just had regular pencil, but we did not have pen and ink 
when I was in Webster School. Who were some of your friends? Well, I had Betty Joyce Denton, and there was uh, June Roten. Those are really the two that I remember best. Do you remember any adventures or escapades with your friends? Well, um, back over here is a little family cemetery, and it had a, a, a cover over it. And we used to take uh, trips down there, down to that cemetery, and back up, especially at Easter. That's where we did Easter egg hunts back in that area. And, uh, uh, there was some uh, beams there that the boys could swing on. And <laughs> Did, were there any other buildings at the school besides the school? Well, we had uh, the outdoor toilets. Was there a playground? Yes, we had plenty of playground. Was there a swing set? Yes. Was there a seesaw? Yes. A merry-go-round? No. What did you do at recess? Well, we uh, played tag or we played, uh, we love the seesaw. Uh, and the boys were always playing ball, so sometimes we just watch them. And, Did the school have a special program at Christmas? Yes. Did they have a play? Well, beginning when I was in third grade, they did. Um, we had a new teacher that year, Law of Sensing, and she wanted us to do Dickens Christmas Carol. And I was assigned one of the ghosts. And, uh, my brother was assigned this uh, part of the Scrooge. But anyway, um, teacher told me that uh, to wear some kind of old gown or something to look like a ghost. And so I went home and told Mama that, and she said, if she thinks I'm going to send you to school with an old gown, she's got another thought coming. And so, in a few days, this was at Christmas, in a few days I got, when I went home, there was a package and the return address was Mrs. Santa Claus. And when they opened it up, it was a beautiful uh, robe that Mama had made. And so, um, I said, well, I'm supposed to wear an old gown, and she said, no, you're wearing that. So when I got to school, well, Miss Sensing tied something around me to try to make me look uh, apart. And so anyway, I'm sure there's never been a ghost that was just dressed up as I was. <laughs> Were there any other special events at school? Well, at the end of school, we always had this, um, a uh, big black pot made with stew. We had a stew. And then, you know, uh, people in the community brought uh, uh, things to go with it, cakes and pies or salads or something. Was there a, a graduation or some kind of program to mark the I end? don't remember. Was there an organization for parents like PTA? Not that I don't remember. Did your school have any sports teams or did the kids just play sports they just at play. recess? And on Sunday afternoon, the boys would play on the playground. How was your school heated? 
it had a, a big uh, wood heater, kind of like that. But then it had a um, metal uh, jacket that came around that to protect it, uh, the kids from it. It had a door you opened up to put the wood in and so on. And the parents uh, furnished the wood for the school. And how did they cool the school? Well, they opened the windows. I was there before we had electricity. Uh, we had no electricity the years I went to Webster. We had the outdoor toilets. We had the well that we drew the water up and all drank out of the same dipper, I think. <laughs> anyway. It was kind of primitive. What was discipline like? Well, it was strict, and yet we weren't we weren't uh, punished or anything. What was your favorite subject? I guess reading. And why was reading your favorite subject? Because I like to read. <laughs> So if the school didn't have a lunchroom, what did you do for lunch? Well, I was close enough that I went home for lunch. But those people who were not nearly as close brought their lunch. <clears throat> was there an end of the school year awards program? No. Or anything? Do you remember what you did at the beginning of the school day? Well, this is the front door of the school, and we lined up out here. And usually it was uh, uh, someone from the upper grade that would lead us in the Pledge to Allegiance, and uh, uh, I don't think we ever sang, but anyway, uh, that was we did the Pledge of Allegiance before we went inside the building, and so. You lined up by grades, and uh, then you just marched in your room. See, there was uh, this area over here had the upper four grades, and here in the back was uh, the classroom that had the lower four grades. So were there two teachers? Yes. Now, when you finished at Webster, you went to Winsboro. How did you get to the Winsboro School? I rode a bus. In what year did you graduate from Winsboro? 1948. What would you like for people to remember about the Webster School and community? Well, the Webster School was a very viable uh, part of the community. And it was um, like at Christmas when we did the Christmas program. It was for the whole community. It was not just for parents. And we had a Christmas tree and so on. Uh, it was just really the uh, kind of the thing that held the community together. Well, this has all been so very interesting. Is there anything you would like to add about Webster? Well, I just went to Webster four years. I started in 1937, and then the year 38, 39, and 40, and when um, the school year ended in 41, that was the last school that we had at Webster. It uh, consolidated with Winsboro. <clears throat> that is also interesting. I was there four years, but I went through the fifth grade because uh, when I started through second grade, there were just two of us, and the teacher gave us a bunch of tests and then promoted us on up to the third grade. <laughs> and so, uh, 
I was there four years, but I went through fifth grade there. Well, we want to thank you for your time today okay. in, in coming to Webster. Um, it's important because your stories are helping us save this time period in Wood County history. You're an important part in contributing this information, and it's been our honor today. Thank you. Thank you.